present to you our seventh installment of our all new back to school trick videos. In this installment, I'm going to be showing you 15 tricks that you can do that will definitely make you feel the love and the light and not just that. Getting all into this for A's with this. So what is our first one? As is, but to read that down off of my notebook as you see right here. And that is the magic clip to safety magic trick. And so this will look like. See the guys just pay paper code here? Watch this. By magic, it turns into a safe a safety pin. How is this one done? As it is about to reveal the secret. All you need for this is two things. Here are your two ups. That is what you'll see here, and that is a paper clip, big, and a safety pin, same, the same size as the paper clip. You see, just here, I'm holding up to the camera. What you want to do here is you're gonna palm your safety pin like this and hold the clip like this. All you gotta do is as you place this in, you actually draw this back into your fist. Same time as you do this. Drop this in, like this. It's gonna drop in, and do that. Then just open your fist, and it changes into this. So it'll come out a little, little something like this. Like that. By magic, changing the paper clip into a safety pin that you'll see just right here. And that right there is how you do the magic clip to safety magic trick. Then from my notes, I read our off our second trick, which I like to call the magic mind breaking Sharpie magic trick. Here's what this Sharpie will mind break like. Hey, welcome to the tricks table. You can see I got this um, shop here. You can see can actually by the mind. Can I just break it? Watch. And by magic, I break the sharpie by the powers of my mind. How's this one done? As is, but reveal the secret. All beneath this is a non-working permanent marker. Going to snap it like this. Get a snap. That's all you'll need. All you gotta do is he's gonna line up just like this so that it fits in. That's why when you snap it, it'll go into place just like this. Like that. So I'm going to. Hold it like that. Be careful you accidentally cry chop it with your uh, cry chop finger here. <laughs> so it. That way you can see that that's nice and full. All you gotta do is take your two fingers, go up to your temple, stare at it like this intently, and just release the pressure from your fingers like this. And by magic, by the powers of your own mind. Mind over Sharpie. There, we'll definitely give you straight A's with this one. You can be a whiz at these tricks. Now it's that. There, you be a whiz it up to one of those straight A's that you're looking for. So try that at home with your friends or family. You can get our lines or two. And, um... Try out and um, have a great fun time with a uh, mind breaking Sharpie magic trick. And that is how you do the mind breaking Sharpie magic trick. Then we're going to get down to our next one going into a lock 
and a coin, and of course, the hand with this one. And the trick number three, which I like to call the magic hand, coin, and lock magic trick, is what this will look like. See, I got my coin here. Watch. By magic, it goes right through my hand. Quite nice with the hand, but the use of the combination lock. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you're being for this is a three things for this. Now, is what you're gonna see here. Two of the same coins in local like currency. Your combination lock and a magnet on the back. You're gonna tape it on. Make sure the magnet picks up to the coin. I'll just say that. What you want to do is it going to palm one coin in your hand like this, where the muscle part is to your thumb, like this, and pinched like that. We're starting. Turn your hand over and place the other uh, coin on top of your hand just like this. By the use of the magnet, what you're going to is take this away and then drop this onto the table. Like this. Same time as you tap, you're gonna drop that like that, and by magic, it passes right through your hand. By the use of a school combination lock, you'll see just right here. Makes a really cool magic trick that you could do because it involves the combination lock and spirit change. This one. And out come my notes in here. And right there, I read it off to you. That is how you do. The magic hand, coin, and lock magic trick. Coming into our trick four. Now pointing out just right here, guys. You can take a look at it. I'm pointing at our trick number four, just right here. And I'm going to tell you what it is. And that is the broken repairing pencil trick. Here's the performance of what this one will. Look like. Oh jeez, look what happened. It's broken. Watch. I just think put your skills just like this. Watch. By magic, I repair it. How's this one done? As it is about to reveal the secret. All you'll be needing for this is a pencil, now any pencil happens to be a fake one. Here are the components of a pencil. We got the lead off a pencil into a straw, the right color of a pencil. We're gonna place that in the inside just like that. And then just paint a little bit of orange for the eraser and a little bit of tin foil for the eraser part. And then by marker, just put the words on here. Dixon R number two HB. Give it the right look of a real pencil. All I gotta do is you hold it like this and end up going like that. Swishing it around like this. Make sure they see this. So here is your broken pieces. It's very easy to just fold in like this, right? Okay, so starting off like that. And then all you gotta do is you just go into your hand like this and extend it like this and then pull up. And by magic, mending the pencil by hand. And that right there is how you do the broken repairing pencil trick. Since we're getting into pencils, here's another pencil one just for you. Coming into our trick number five 
Find my notes, right to you. And that is the regenerating pencil lead trick. Is so it this will regenerate like. Okay, you see here, my pencil here. You can see this is gonna just break this off. Yes, you can see it. Whoa, okay, so that, I just actually did that. I just took the lead off, like that, like that. And then actually it's just to use this. Here, watch, watch the tip. By magic, it regenerates the seed to say here. How is this one done? As is, I'm about to reveal the secret. So again, this is extremely simple. Get to teach you this one is done right now. All you're being for this is a very special pencil for this. The pencil itself is like a mechanical pencil. You can press this, you can see it does go like this. You can see the lead is just right here. It looks like a real pencil because because it has the labeling on it. As you can see, just right here. As you can see here is classic pound two. You can see right there. Here it looks like a real pencil. What you want to do starting off is make sure you get the lead up like that. And it's going to use your finger like this. And just go like that, it will sever and come off the tip, like this. All you gotta do is simply just use this and be very slow as you do this. And look, you just go like this, and the little, and the lead regenerates from the top of the pencil. And that's how you get lead pencils to regenerate by magic. Makes a very fine tip master trick that you can do for back to school. It involves the pencil of it. And that right there is how you do the regenerating pencil lead trick. Hey, you can get two 50s and put it into one, making it up to a hundred. Coming into our trick number one, two, three, four, five, six. Trick six, which I like to call the magic 250 200 magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So, here I got 250s. Watch. I'm gonna actually just take this. Watch. By magic, it turns into a hundred. How is this one done? As is, I'm about to reveal. The secret. All you need for this is only like two hundred bills in in play money or in real money. You're going to get the back of one and the front of the other. On the other side, you're going to is gimmick it by two fifties. You see just here in here. Make sure you tape it up from here, top, top and bottom, and then tape it like this, so it looks like a book. Like this, so we can easily grab this, and it does that. So we're gonna hold the bills like this, I gotta just come behind and just do that. Again, I'll show you. I'm gonna hold it just like this, so that we don't get to see this part here. That way, it looks like as if you're holding 250. And simply go like that. And by magic, 250 goes into one, making it what? A uh -huh. hundred. As you see, just say here. And there's so you get 250s to go into a hundred. There it gets it builds within this one. And puts it up to get my straight A's for that one as well too. 
And that right there is what you do the Magic 250 200 Magic Trick. Coming from my notes, we get down to our trick number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Trick seven, which I like to call the penetrating pencil wrap coin magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my, my, my pencil. I got my big coin, nice and gold. And I got my cross sheet. I just place this, this coin in the inside just like this. I just give this wrap just like this. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just take this and I'm gonna give this a fold like this and make sure that it's in there nice and good. Okay, good. I'm just gonna give it a fold just like that. Take my pencil. Watch. Get in there. Right through the coin. I threw and through. Pull it out. You see? Now just 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 take this. Watch this. I'm gonna just unfold it just like that. stays intact. How is this one done? As it is about to reveal the secret. All beneath this are three things. One you'll need is a big coin. Gold or any size coin will do. You look for a currency, then you'll be needing a pencil for this, and last but not least, some crash sheet, also known as construction paper. So we'll start with the pencil, just on the armpit, just like that. Or if you have a pocket, into your pocket. So the coin for inspection, pass these around as well too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place the coin in the inside of the wrapping, just like this. And give it a fold, like that. Make sure that this falls down, like this. So you're gonna make it fall down. Why do you want the coin to fall down? Because it's gonna help with the penetration. So it's gonna fall down to here, clearing this spot right here. Make sure you fold it like that. That way they'll know the coin is in here. Really, the coin is just right here now. Take your pencil and just simply put it in like this. Provide pressure. And get a hole started. this and go in like that and by magic it goes right through the coin coin is just right here so this is passing the coin but it gives a convincing illusion that the, the pencil went through the coin keep holding it like this and so back in front by hiding the coin like this at a slant so they can see the wicked impalement. What I gotta do is pull pencils out like this. Get very dramatic. Place the coin back in as you start to unwrap it. Like this. Close it up to here like that. And so the coin is unharmed after being penetrated by the pencil. So you can see right here. After it's done, pass the coin around for coin inspection. A very epic pencil, paper, and coin magic trick that you could do. Going back back to school as well as over on home fun as well too. And that right there is how you do the penetrating pencil wrap coin magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number eight. Goes into a rock and a dinosaur. You're gonna do something to it and make a dancer appear with that. 
bring us your trick number eight. That is the dinosaur fossil rock magic trick. Is what this dinosaur fossil rock will look like. So here, here I am wearing the shirt that was made for it. And now, when all to the trick table, well, this will be performed. Howdy. So I got this. I actually is get a dinosaur from this watch. Okay. Whoa. And that just came out of the rock. <laughs> As it was, and this one, my dancer felt so getting with this one. How's this one done? As it is, but to reveal the secret, all you be needing is what you see here. And that is the dancer excavation kit. You can get this in a toy store or where they'll sell. The fossil like things go for a dinosaur one or anything. It doesn't have to be a dinosaur. As long as it has the rock of whatever you have. Then you'll need is a corresponding dinosaur to the picture on the rock. Or whatever you have in comparison to the rock. It comes with a hammer. Directions are on the back, as you can see right here. Like that, so you can, you can, ch you can chisel, there's a seed just right here. You can see, right there. So here's the pictures of all the dinosaurs. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to take your little dinosaur, or whatever you have, and palm it like this. Like that. Rock, and use it as a cover like this. All you gotta do is with your hammer, you're going to is hit this, and as you hit this, you're gonna release this and drop it down just like that. At the same time as you are hammering the rock like this. Like that. Now by magic. Getting a dinosaur from the dinosaur rock, as you see, just here. So what I could do for back to school, because it involves adventure and science within this one as well too. And that stat made this possible by using my uh, Jurassic World T or this amazing magic trick, dancer magic trick. Your teacher will be very amazed when they see you taking a dinosaur rock, using the hammer and the magic, making a dinosaur come directly out of it. The remains of it. Just let us know. Okay, with that said, let's get along with the rest of your tricks. But first, I'm gonna say those words that everyone loves to hear. That is how you do the dinosaur fossil rock magic trick. Bring this down to a school board next to you. Not any school board, a chalkboard. And having it do some math with it. With magic. And that is the magic card edition board. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. For this, let's change up my shirt from here. There we go. That's much better. Not a stat, it says something on it. Champions. As it is, I want to let you all know that you are all champions as well. And now, let's get on with the magic trick. I'll see you very quickly. Okay, so here I got my uh, 10, I got my plus, and I got my 10, and I got me, my equals card right here. And I got the board of it just right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place these into order like this. So I got 10, right? Plus, that looks like that. And then 10, put it into there, and it put equals into it as well, too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we are going to just 
place this into the card deck. Just like this. Okay, so here gonna just shuffle it in, in like that. Okay, we use this chalkboard right here. Bring it up close. Okay, watch this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what happens. Seize it off very carefully. Let's slip it the board. Watch. It equals up to 20 on the board. How is this with this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All I mean for this is a few simple things. One, a chalkboard easel that looks just like this. Chalk stick. And a lower vision easy playing cards from Bicycle. The cards look like this. All bigger numbers. Very colorful and very easy to see. Backs are the same as a regular bicycle deck. Okay, what you want to, to do is going to make it add. Here I use other cards. Any other one will do. 10 plus 10. This. Okay, so the plus cards did not come from bicycle. Actually, I made them myself. But bicycle cards, backings, and the paper, I put the plus and I put the equals into it as well too. Okay, here is how to prep up for, for this. So you get your chalkboard easel and just write down, you could do 10 plus 10 equals 20. Or you could just go up to the equals because they see you add the equals to it. So you actually equal it as you placed in the plus. So here, this can go here. The equal sign. And then write out 20 or whatever number you get up to. Like that. So there is your prep right there on the uh, chalkboard easel. Okay, what you want to do is it going to is cover this with just two cards from it. Let's say you just put the king down there and just give it a cover, just like that. And then find another color, make it nice and colorful. Add that. That will cover the equals. I'm out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by picking up, up, up your cards, going 10. Say it as 10. Plus, put it in there, 10 equals, place it behind. What's going to do with the, the uh, deck is we're going to take your deck like that, and you're going to, here, get to the card, there, like that. you're going to go and collect these and simply put them in. You're really going to have to just go put them under the table like this. Be very quick. That way they know that's in the deck. And then just give it a shuffle. They are already ditched. So they're not up in the deck. But they know it's in the deck because you're shuffling it just like this. All you gotta do is take your board and go like this. And just simply let go like that. Right on top of the chalkboard. After it's done, just simply just take these off. That be careful not to move these right away, and then after move these by magic, the equals appears on the chalkboard. You see, that's right here. You can find it, these uh, uh, chalkboards, the, the easy ones that come with this, like like an A, <laughs> straight A, <laughs> exactly. You can find this in the whole stationery store, and same goes for the um, chalk packs. Quantity 
app. 48 in a pack, or 12 in a pack, like this. Cool one you could do for math and so too, making it fun, as well as learning fun and so too. And that right there is how you do the magic card edition board magic trick. Here we're going to get a bottle and a straw and start playing magical with it. And coming into our trick number 10. What is the trick I like to call the magic straw and bottle trick? Here's what this will look like. So here I got my uh, straw here. Watch as soon as this rests just upon here and just like that. Watch. underneath here. How is this one done? As he is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need for this is a water bottle with some of your grape juice in the inside. Or Kool-Aid. Then you need is a straw. So here is part of science as well too. Why? Because as you do this, you'll put it in static electricity. And that's what's going to allow this to move. So what I gotta do is gonna hold it like this and simply go pretty brisk like this. Putting in the second electricity charge is in the straw and now into your hand. Place it onto your bottle just like this and come up like this. Your fingers will also get charged too in the same line too. Like this. Go a ways away. And do this. Cool trick you could do with a straw and a water bottle. Here is the top view. Like that. There, gets your science inside there and creates an amazing magic trick with just a straw and a bottle. Makes a really cool trick that you could do just right at the table. You can also impress your friends and family over the line as well too with that watch wouldn't be a surprise when you see you move that straw on top of just a bottle of water. And that right there is how you do the magic straw and bottle trick. Putting us right down to our trick number 11 here on our 7th and Summit. And again, thank you guys so much for watching our installment 1, 2, 6. Coming up after this, our 8th installment. So it's such snow. So as it is, let's carry on with the readout. Going into our trick number 11, that is the Magic School Slurpee Cup Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. It's here. Watch. By magic, I get a Gatorade bottle from the Slurpee Cup. How is this one done? As is, I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need for this is a Gatorade bottle. You can see just here. Or any juice ball for this. Then you need a tall slippy cup that looks just like this. Something similar here. I got my Wonder Woman one. You can see it just here. All you gotta do is it going to, with your juice cup, you're just gonna hold it like this up against you. Show it empty, and then show it around, 
put this in and cast out like that. Make sure your hand does this. Make sure you got the G, whatever sign you have. Go in, so and end up doing that and by magic getting a deuce bottle from an empty slurpy cup you see just here. Now that's that. Make sure you find the color coordinating to the tall sippy cup you see just here. Choose that one. And that's how you get juice bottles to appear in an empty slurpy cup. There, we definitely put the um, cup, champion cup, right in the middle. Bring it to an A shape as the what? The letter A. The straight A. And that right there is how you do the magic school slurpy cup magic trick. From there, that puts us directly down on my list at our 12th one. And that is the magic cuke to school banana magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my um, my paper bag is reaped in a cloud. A cucumber. See that bag there. I simply just place this back in again just like this. Watch this. Just, just to go in and reach that cucumber. And it changes into a banana. Let's see. Just a hair. Oh, this one done? As is, but to reveal the secret. All you'll be needing for this are this three things for this. One, a brown paper bag. Two, a banana. Three, a cucumber. You can see, just here. What you want to do is you're gonna preload in your banana into the brown paper bag, just like this. See, there's the banana in the inside. You're going to put your cuke in there as well too. Just like this. So that is for starters. All you gotta do is gonna hold that banana in, in place for now. As you go in with your hand, reach out, pull out the cucumber. All you gotta do is tip this and just give it a shake. Like that. Holding the banana in the inside. Placing the cucumber back in the inside just like this. And simply just go Grab the banana and pull out, pulling the cuke in the inside. As you can see right here, pull out like this. By magic, the cuke turns into a banana. As so that's done, take the bag and give it a shake. Like that. And there is how you get cucumbers to turn into bananas. With a smile. And that right there is how you do the magic cuke to school banana magic trick. There, it gets your fruits and your veggies within that one. There, it definitely makes that one feel nice and strong and feel like a champion. Then putting us down to our trick number 13, and that is the magic paper paint changer magic trick. And so this will look like. So here I got my paper and I got my white glue. I just place this in the inside of the paper just like this. Watch this and just, just, just take that and watch. By magic I change it into red. How is this one done? This is about to reveal the secret. All you need for this is two different paint bottles, different colors, and paper. So all you gotta do is simply place your 
change in the inside, just like this, and hold, like that. So the paper. And that's how you gotta do, simply place this in just like this, and go wrap it around like that, and then peel up like that, making sure that this stays like that. So again, so, and simply go like this, and then magic, changing the paint bottle by the use of a paper. Once it's done, get this addition to your lap at the edge of the table. That way you can take a look in the inside of the paper and see the change made. That was made from the paper. And that's how you change the, the color of the labels on paint balls by the use of a paper. And that right there, so you do the magic paper paint changer magic trick. Then we get down to our treat number 14. That is the magic school milk and lunch bag magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my milk and I got my lunch bag. You can see this is actually his says the Holly Damon says magical lunch bag. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'll just put my milk into here just like this. I'm gonna actually tap my fingers for reach again and look. By magic, I increase it. Now it's that the glass grows in size. How is this one done? As it is, but to reveal, it's gonna be behind us to you right now. All you're gonna be, be needing is what you're gonna see here. That is the sheet again for the milk. I'm gonna put some um just go into it so that way it makes no noise. Like that. Make sure this is big for that disc to fit in. Like that. All you'll be needing is a smaller cup. Same as the big cup. That way it's the same. It must be the same in order to get the right transition to make. All you need for this is a, a brown paper, paper bag and just some and add some colors to it. Add a name of a person or something that you like onto it. And just place this in just like this. This goes into the bag beforehand. Like that. Simply just take your small guy, place it inside the bag just like this. Put it in. It dishes itself inside there. Pick up the glass, and then by magic, it blows up just like that. So in the inside, it looks like this. So there's a cup in the inside, just like that. To them, it looks like you hold the um glass like this, place into the, the launch bag, just like that. Step your fingers and pull out like this. And by magic, cla the glass grows and the milk grows as well. By the use of a magic launch bag, you see, just it here. And now right there's so how you do the magic school milk and lunch bag magic trick. Again here, that puts us directly down to our last one and our 15th one, and that is the balancing juice bottle on the book trick. Here's what this will balance like. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's that. See, the book matches up my shirt. See, it's going to go like this. Can see, going to open up my book here, like that. Okay, it's going to hold it like that. Okay, you can see that there's nothing attached to it. I'm gonna take my boy uh, juice ball here. Watch this, this to go go like this. Watch. Go try and get the balance. I simply just um with the book. How's this one done? As it's about to reveal the secret. All you need is a juice ball and a book. It's the way you hold the book. Like this, you want to bend it like this after showing it off like this. That's okay too. All you gotta do is bend the book down like this and just place your juice ball like this. We can look at it in the inside. You know, it will actually um, support it. Like this. Like that. Like that, make sure that you bend it though, when you, you are doing that. 
Something nice and, ri and rigid. And the magic can gain the balance on top of a subject notebook. Let's see. Just see here. And there you go. Oh, 15 tricks. I'll see y'all back tomorrow for our eighth installment. This is Mia Sully, Ray Snabo. Cheers to all, all of you. With love. I'll see y'all back tomorrow for our eight, with, with our eighth insta installment. Now, I'll bring these close for the ending of the video.